Marnie's out for his mort. <laughs> Marnie's out for his morning hunt and prowl. Just checking on the uh, the outlands. Um, nothing too interesting going on, he says. And the grass is slowly growing. Very patchy because the cats keep digging it up. Like I said yesterday, today I'm going to go and buy something with my dad for my birthday because he forgot. I didn't forget he wasn't here, but my brother definitely forgot, so that's funny. Um, and we're having scrambled eggs on dust. Found this on the floor again. Look at all the teeth marks in it. So, gonna have to retire this. Luckily, I've got a spare Chi Chi one that I've never used, so. <sighs> Thanks, Amani. Just filmed this makeup look here. It's like an orangey autumn look but with my like new background. I think it's a little plain but I'm wondering if that's okay because I don't know sometimes if you've got too much in the background it's kind of distracting. I think I've got the lighting pretty sorted so I just have like a little bit of the window there but not close to my face because it shines too much light there. Then I have my ring light and another window directly in front of me. And then I have these two lights here and also a window in the lounge there. So a lot of lighting going on, but I think you need that. Hopefully it's okay. Let me know what you guys think in my videos on my main channel, like what backgrounds you like and the lighting and stuff. So yeah, I don't really like these lashes. I think they're too like long at the ends for me. They're the feline lashes from Exo Beauty. I love Exo Beauty lashes, but I just feel like these ones don't really suit me. 100%. Anyway, just importing that, then I've got to take some pictures of my makeup for Instagram. On my lips today, I'm wearing the Ulta Matte Lip Cream. It's not very matte yet. I'm wondering if it takes a while, but yeah, not that matte at all. And then underneath, I use the Essence Lip Liner in 5 Soft Berry. Jordan keeps interrupting my filming, which was driving me insane. He's out with his dad, went to get some stuff from Bunnings and stuff, and he forgot to take my discount card thing that I have with him. So he's like, send me a picture. And then I didn't answer the phone when he rang, so I was like, you saved like 50 cents, honestly, this is gonna do nothing. And then mum came over and she's like, Jordan rang me because he needs a picture of your discount card. And I was like, are you kidding me? It's not, you don't even save that much. It's not this important. But then I sent him a picture and then he's like, I need a picture of the back as well. But anyway, that's what's going on so far. I think once he gets back, we'll go and get that Chromecast thing. I don't think Jordan explained it very well if you don't know what it is. It's like a little device thing that you plug into your TV. And then I guess it kind of makes it into a smart TV, sort of. Like you can use Google straight from it and stuff which is good because the TV we have in our room isn't a smart TV so we have to connect a cord and now that we've moved everything around the cord doesn't reach so that'll be a lot better we don't have to worry about the cord or anything we'll just be able to watch Netflix and stuff just straight on the TV which will be great and it's cheaper than buying a whole new smart TV <laughs> I did the hello hair mask yesterday and my hair is like so soft it does look a little greasy but honestly it's so soft it feels so nice i'm definitely going to be taking that on the cruise ship with me because you know if i go swimming and stuff the chlorine and also sun like my hair gets like sunburnt i don't know it's really weird but if i've been out in the sun my hair gets really really dry so that's weird because my hair is always really oily but yeah also, I'm going to the hairdressers this week, so that's on Thursday, and I don't really know what I'm going to do, like, obviously, keeping it blonde, not going back to dark again, but I think I just need to get, like, the underneath parts a bit blonder, because the ends are still quite dark, just to kind of match it up with the top. I don't want to go any lighter than, like, those light bits there, so... I'll just talk to the hairdresser and ask what she thinks I should do. And yeah, I wanted to kind of wait till it was close to us going away to get it done. Then I need to get my friend to come around and do my eyebrows. And yeah, just getting sorted really. So, it's exciting. So I just went to Bunnings with my dad and I really wanted a, um, a drop saw. I was looking at one that was averagely cheap and he said, no, that's terrible. So I ended up coming home with that thing. And then he got me a leveller, extension cable, horses and... Horses? I don't know what they're called. The, the, horse. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that, that thing. Basically got me all this and I only wanted something small. So thanks dad, appreciate that. So we just went and got the Chromecast thing, it was $60. Yep. 
And this is just what it is. <laughs> it's like a USB thingy, I guess. It's like a flash drive. Yeah. That goes in there. Boop. And that goes to the back of the TV. Let's go. Boop, boop. And then that goes into here. Probably not that one, this doesn't fit. And into there. The other way around. And to there. Ta da! Just like that. It's taken forever to update. Sushi for lunch again. Pretty much do that every weekend. And Jordan got. What did you get? He got a rice tray. Unboxing. Spit box, man. The man's gonna be really excited about the box. Or not. Instructions. Those. Little dust collecting bag. Here we go. Go. Doesn't that look great? Put a top on it. Where is it? Get one. It's behind you. Is it behind you? No. Oh, yeah. It's like patting it. I don't think he likes it. <laughs> Box is too big, he doesn't like it. So I just constructed my little sawhorse thingies. Um, zero instructions on this, so that was fun. Um, took me a while to realise that that side has to be facing upwards. But perfectly level. Oh yeah. So Riv's mum just gave me one of these. And apparently it can't be done with cold water. So I have to do a hot one, we'll see how that goes. It smells like hot chocolate. Ta-da! Literally just tastes like the Chocolato one, but it has everything mixed in, so I don't know, is it a good thing? I am just about to film my skincare routine, so I'm going to go set up that in the bathroom. Jordan's just gone to his dad's for dinner, and yeah, I'm going to do this video. This afternoon, I've just been watching Pretty Little Liars. I edited a vlog and a Get Ready With Me video, so... I just need to schedule the get ready with me and I also want to edit another couple of vlogs if I can tonight. Tomorrow my Kat Von D first impressions video will be going up. It will be up already by the time this vlog goes out so I'll link it down below. It's a really nice day now, I've just been lying in the sun and we've also got a new idea. It was actually mum's idea so I'll show you guys. This wall here, because I know I've talked to you guys before about how we're going to like add a master bedroom and an ensuite and stuff. To be quite honest, we probably won't have the money to do that in a very, very long time. So, what we're thinking we could do is build a wardrobe along here. And it's one of those ones that's going to be the whole wall. And then when you, like, open up the sliding doors or whatever, it's going to be heaps of shelves and rods for coat hangers and stuff. Like, this whole kind of wall. And then, since our ceilings are so tall, I think from the floor to the ceiling, I'm pretty sure it's about 2.8 meters. So much bigger than standard and we will obviously have a lot of space up there so probably from I don't know about there or so will just be big cupboards up there for storage and then the rest will be wardrobe. Then what we're thinking of doing is we never use this concrete space out here so what we might do is extend this bedroom out to where the concrete ends just there and then we'll put a big like window along there and possibly like a window seat. This is all going anyway so that's fine. Then we will move this door here to kind of more in the corner over there. Then we'll build a inbuilt wardrobe here like just a spare room size kind of one. Because it's quite a decent size room really. I mean it's not huge but it's not tiny either. And then we're also going to be making this into doors like a sliding door. And Jordan will build a deck out there. So we just have to move the um, heat pump unit to around there. Then we want to um, take this door out and put it here. Ideally we would like to, because this is the wardrobe, we'd like to bring it back to there. But this wall here, you can see that texture of it is like rough cast because this used to be an outside wall. I don't know if it's the same everywhere but you can tell that this here used to be outside. Like it's a typical kind of old New Zealand home where like the steps would be up to there and this part here was all outside. So I'm pretty sure 
that's how it happened because this part here is definitely an extension. We think it was added in like the 60s or something. But yeah, we need to find out about this because this will be a load-bearing wall. So it would look amazing if we got rid of it, but it may not be that easy. We need to find out. And the kitty is sleeping. He's been outside a lot today. Just editing the little house tour that I filmed a few weeks ago. It's actually changed so much since I filmed this, so I guess I'll still upload it. It's just things are a bit different now but because we're going to be doing a lot to the house over the next like couple of years or so I figure it would be good to kind of do one of these say every six months or something anyway and show you guys the progress and stuff that we're having in the house as you guys have heard me talk about a lot we're planning on doing a whole heap of stuff so I think it's going to be cool to kind of see how it all changes and this was kind of like the beginning like in this one the bathroom isn't even painted or anything so a lot's even changed just from this video here just got back from my dad's house we had some food together because they couldn't come last week uh, my brother was meant to be there as well, but because um, he's on the night shift, he um, couldn't come either. Sometimes I'm going to go play some computer game. I don't know what's up with the prices on Sephora in New Zealand at the moment. Apparently the other night, heaps of things were listed at $10, and apparently they were honouring the prices as well. Wish I'd seen it then. But, like this Tangle teaser is listed for $150 New Zealand dollars. Excuse me, what? Is it actual gold? Why would you pay $150? Like, that's got to be a mistake, and I hope people wouldn't actually buy that. I mean, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't, because, you know, that's ridiculous. But it's not even just the gold one. This pink kitty one here is as well. Whereas I got mine in Sephora America, I think, and it was like $20, if that. So I don't understand what's going on with their prices, and I don't really trust any of the prices on this website, to be honest, right now. Hope they fix it soon. So I've got five videos scheduled to upload for the next few weeks so obviously i've got a lot more to schedule but i'm ahead of myself so that's good i've got a vlog also scheduled for tomorrow so doing well also that skincare video that i filmed before didn't really work out very well so i think i'll refilm it next weekend and do it in a different style just wasn't happy with it we've just been playing at disney infinity racing game i can't remember what it's called Toy box speed is I'm pretty sure. Toy box speedway or something. Um, and we got like gold in all the races and stuff. Didn't even get anything for doing that really, so that was... Time well spent. Yeah, time well spent. Anyway, gonna end the vlog here. So probably vlog Tuesday, Thursday or something like that. I'm getting my hair done on Thursday, so I'll vlog that and show you what it looks like. Hope you guys had a good weekend and see you next time we vlog. Bye. It isn't oily at all at this stage. I wouldn't say it's completely matte, like it's not like a dry matte. It's probably more of like a demi-matte or something.